Hi Hitations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're in my empty room or my empty-ish room. I'm going to be reviewing a fragrance for you guys today. It's going to be Two's Love Me and I wanted to talk to you guys about this fragrance first because it's a nice scent and also because I've been using this one a lot so I wanted to kind of tell you guys why I've been wearing it so much. So if you'd like to know what I think, then keep watching. Now, if you guys are first tuning in, hi, my name is Kristen, and this is not my normal setup. I am in the process of completely, almost like semi-remodeling my um, my office. This is my office, I film in my office. Um, so this is my workspace, and it's finally getting remodeled. So um, we are at the stage where everything's out of the, the cabinets, so I can film in here, but the videos are gonna be kind of lower quality than what I normally have. So thank you guys for being so patient with that. Now for transparency purposes, this was sent to me to review and this is something that I actually really enjoy. So the first thing I'm going to say is when this was released, there was a lot of people that really liked it and a lot of people that thought it was really lackluster. And I want to talk to you guys why I like it and also why I think people are having mixed feelings about this fragrance. Now this is a standard run-of-the-mill designer fragrance. It's got pink grapefruit, lychees, and pink peppercorn, and it has like watery florals in there. And I think the watery florals are what people are having issues with. Now this scent has been something I've been wearing a lot, more than I thought I would. And it's something that I've generally really been enjoying. There's something really sparkling and uplifting, fresh and kind of soapy about this fragrance. When you do things like, you know, run errands, go in about town, and you might not be able to reapply your fragrance, and you want to smell really pretty, very flirty, feminine, but you also don't want to be too offensive. This is a scent that I wear to a lot of my doctor's appointments. I run a lot of errands. And also when I'm doing a lot of like work, you know, in regards to um, moving, hundreds of bottles of fragrance or like landscaping outside or something like that. It's a fragrance that I can wear to the doctor's office, come home, cook food, do some yard work, work in here, and go out to the grocery store and my scent sm still smells really, really good. And some fragrances don't have that kind of lasting power, especially when you change environments. When you go from really hot to really cold to really humid to really dry. This fragrance I have found works so amazingly well and smells like a very mainstream, very crowd-pleasing designer fragrance, but in a way that smells very clean, very fresh, very uplifting, and very floral. And I really like to wear these kinds of fragrances when I'm gonna be going out and about especially if I'm going to be going to like a doctor's office or I'm going to be going to a place where there's a lot of people, I tend to wear safer fragrances. And this one has been one that I've actually been wearing and really enjoying. So I wouldn't say this is the most creative <laughs> fragrance. You've definitely smelled it before. But what I like is this real focus on these watery flowers. Now there are some notes out there, some flowers, some compositions that you see in a lot of very um, expensive, of uh, shower gels, shampoos, body lotions, body mists that smell like shower gels and bath salts. Uh, usually peony, freesia, lavender, sometimes violet. A lot of these flowers, when people smell them, they are reminded of these bath products. And for some people that is a positive, and for some people that is a negative. Add that kind of watery, floral kind of connection with this really beautiful, very energizing, uplifting kind of like, like sparkly muskiness. This is definitely going to be the type of fragrance where people are going to wish it had more or people are going to appreciate what it has. It's not new. It's not like something you haven't smelled before. But what I like specifically about Love Me From Twos is the fact that it does it so effortlessly and so beautifully. And that's something that I've really enjoyed with this fragrance. This is the type of fragrance that smells very feminine, very flirty, very youthful, and there's a sparkle about it that's really, really nice. It's a great everyday scent that's wearable, slightly whimsical and romantic, but at the same time, it's not so crazy that it's going to be intimidating or challenging for people. 
So for Ascent for me, where I have to go about my day doing a lot of different things, and I might not be able to wear my more challenging niche fragrances, this is something that I've actually been really enjoying and wearing a lot of. So that is why I enjoy this fragrance a lot. It's become one of my most beloved grab-and-go utilitarian fragrances. It has a little more to it than I would expect, and I really enjoy that. So as a fragrance I've been wearing a lot of, I've been really enjoying it. It's worth checking out just for a sniff. Um, and at the end of the day, it's really pretty, so I do really like it. I do have a coupon code. If you would like to save a little bit of money, I will link that below. That is an affiliate coupon code, just letting you guys know. But at the end of the day, you don't have to use it, so it's completely up to you. But I did like want to let you guys know about what I thought about this fragrance. Also, I think this bottle is so dang cute. It is really quite adorable. So that is my thoughts and reviews on Love Me from Tooth. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Also, if you have tried this fragrance, I would love to know what you guys think, positive or negative. Let me know in the comment section below. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.